Celine Sciamma's leisurely, tender portrait of a lady on fire is set in 1770 on an island off the coast of France. This is the destination for Marianne, Noemi Merlon, a young woman artist who's been commissioned to paint a portrait of an aristocratic young woman as a gift for her husband-to-be, who she's not, not yet seen. It transpires that a male artist was originally commissioned to paint Eloise's portrait, but that she had forced him to leave. The Countess instructs Marianne that she's not to reveal the fact that she's come here to paint Eloise's portrait. Instead, she must pose as the young woman's companion. She must keep her company, go for walks with her, talk to her, and all the while observe her, and then paint her from memory. It takes a little while before Marianne and Eloise actually meet, but once the connection is made, an attraction between the two lonely young women gradually blossoms. Quand vous êtes embarrassé, vous mordez vos lèvres. Vraiment. Quand vous êtes troublé, vous respirez par la bouche. The meaning of the film's title at first seems to relate to its prologue. Some years into the future, Marianne is teaching an art class composed of young women. One of the girls has located an early work by Marianne, that of a young woman on a beach at night whose dress is on fire. But as the film progresses, the title takes on another meaning. In the heat of passion, both women could be said to be on fire, though the film avoids the kind of explicit scenes of nudity that have been a feature of some recent films about lesbian relationships. Sciamma's film, so very different from her contemporary films about young women, Tomboy and Girlhood, is no less effective for its reticence. The writer-director takes her time to explore these relationships, aided immensely by the subtly beautiful cinematography by Claire Matton. And the final part of the film carries an emotional charge that is potent in its intensity. I'm giving Portrait of a Lady on Fire four and a half stars.